I'm someone who spends a fair amount of time thinking and pondering about certain aspects of society and ways to make the world a better place. And one of the things that really racks my brain is the fact that industrial hemp is illegal for American farmers to grow because the federal government considers it the same as cannabis even though hemp has just a minuscule amount of the psychoactive ingredient of cannabis. In 1937, the year marijuana and hemp were banned, an article and paper were written that would appear in magazines in February of the following year. Popular Mechanics ran an article entitled, New Billion Dollar Crop, touting the many uses of hemp. Thanks to a mechanical invention that greatly reduced the labor required to separate the fibers from the plant stalk, thousands of jobs for Americans would be created across the country. It goes on to explain that the fibers can be used to produce over 5,000 textile products and the remaining woody herds of the plant can produce over 25,000 products but neglects to mention hemp's potential for fuel. In mechanical engineering, hemp was given billing as the most profitable and desirable crop that can be grown. Today, experts on the potential revenue of a full-blown American hemp industry give a conservative estimate of $500 billion to a $1 trillion a year. The Department of Agriculture produced a short film, Hemp for Victory, that was made to encourage farmers to grow hemp for the war effort during World War II. Yet after the war, hemp was once again banned. In 1925, Henry Ford told a New York Times reporter, The fuel of the future is going to come from fruit like that sumac out by the road, or from apples, weed, sawdust, almost anything. There is fuel in every bit of vegetable matter that can be fermented. There is enough alcohol in one year's yield of an acre of potatoes to drive the machinery necessary to cultivate the fields for a hundred years. Ford recognized the utility of the hemp plant. He constructed a car of resin-stiffened hemp fiber and even ran the car in ethanol made from hemp. Ford knew that hemp could produce vast economic resources if widely cultivated. Ford operated a successful biomass conversion plant that included hemp at their Iron Mountain facility in Michigan. Ford engineers extracted methanol, charcoal fuel, tar, pitch, ethyl acetate, and creosote. Given the recent oil disaster, I believe that a documentary framing the way hemp could be fully exploited as a fuel source could have the same impact as an inconvenient truth and open a dialogue on just why does the federal government continue to deny farmers the opportunity to grow hemp and why isn't it brought up as a biofuel source. I have a vision that is inspired by Henry Ford and his vision for fuel made from biomass. Hemp can be the solution to end America's dependence on fossil fuels and my documentary can provide a blueprint on how it can be done.